Receiver conformance testing is a major activity for any physical layer, and this is no less true for the Mickey Alliance D5 specification. The reason is that conformance testing typically requires very complex hardware setups and even more complex software automation tools as well. Introspect has created an extremely flexible platform for receiver conformance testing. The platform consists of the SD3 D5 generator itself, as well as an application that executes on the Introspect DSP software. In today's demo, we show the D5 CTS application that has been created specifically for addressing receiver conformance testing on any MIPI D5 receiver. The application itself displays parameters such as dot configuration that enables the user to specify how the device operates, and it lists all tests that are mandated by the MIPI Alliance uh, CTS document. So the CTS document creates groups of tests for the receiver, and each one of these tests is included in this user interface. From a novice user perspective, the user simply has to click true, and true or false on any one of these tests and get running. When it comes to customizing and automation, the Introspect application also allows you to configure how the device under test is queried for a response, how it's initialized, how it's controlled through both software and hardware. Specifically, the Introspect DSP application here for, D for D5 CTS testing includes function containers, basically, that allow you to enter any code, uh, whether it's Python code or Windows applications that call the device under test and check its uh, read out its error checkers. In today's demo, I've selected only one test out of the CTS uh, to, for the purpose of illustration. And I also uh, filled in the container for device checking by just simply looking at the scope and asking if uh, the device has passed or not, just for the purpose of demonstration. So uh, the sequence of events for performing D5 CTS uh, receiver testing is first opening up the software, selecting which tests to execute, and then going ahead and executing. And so I'll go ahead and execute this uh, test uh, with the oscilloscope uh, also active visibly in front of us so that we can see uh, what uh, the uh, testing does. And so the CTS application first executes, uh, generates a, a nominal packet to make sure that the device under test is alive and well. And that's typically good practice for even that's listed in the CTS document itself. Once we are done with that, the software skips all tests that I did not enable, of course, and then it goes ahead and performs a test. And so test 247 is really the clock uh, zero test. So we're, we'll monitor the clock lane here and the amount of zero duration that exists. And in each iteration of the loop, the software simply queries the device under test to see if it's operating properly. And if you pay attention to the beginning of the clock signal here, you'll see that it's slowly sweeping from right to left. And that's typically what a CTS receiver application does, is it creates stress on the receiver by sweeping parameters, either left to right or up or down, and checking if the receiver has passed uh, the, the test. And so here, uh, we're using the scope as a proxy for a receiver, basically, and interrogating the scope manually with this pop-up window. But like I said, the CTS application has software containers, as function containers, basically, that allow you to integrate any of your automation scripts uh, controlling the device uh, directly within the application. And so we're doing another sweep here as part of the test. And the clock lane is shifting to the left, as you can see. The THS, uh, sorry, the clock zero duration is shrinking. And at the end of the loop, if all of these iterations have passed, then the device has effectively passed. And so the loop has ended, the test is completed, it took me to the results tab and created a basically a report uh, saying that the device has passed. So there you have it, a very complex uh, task of receiver testing is boiled down to really elegant software solutions and hardware solutions from introspect technology.